This continues the explanation about makefile. Let's see what makefile do in the first homework. This is a review from the previous lecture. Makefile can define symbols used for GCC and conditional compilation to select different sections of code. Makefile can keep track which .c files have been changed and their object files need to be generated. Makefile can link object files to create an executable file. To help us understand what Makefile can do for us, let's start with a simpler Makefile. This is a much simplified Makefile. In order to show this simple Makefile, I have removed the alias for GCC so that the warning messages are not included. We will add the warning messages back soon. The upper left shows the make file. The lower right shows what happens if we type the make command in bash. Do you notice that GCC compiles the list of .c files and creates object files? The list of C files are exactly the same as the list of files specified by SRCS and Makefile. The last line of the output matches the action for creating the executable file. How did this happen? In a Makefile, there should be at least one target. What is a target? It tells Makefile the purpose. A target is on the left side of a colon. Since it is possible to have several targets inside a single make file. This target depends on the list of object files specified by OBJS. OBJS is defined right above. OBJS is created by replacing .c and SRCS by .o. Thus, OBJS is a list of object files add .o, div .o mul.o, main.o, solution.o, and sub.o. In order to create the object files, makefile uses gcc-c to compile .c files. Let's review what we have learned so far. The object files are created replacing .c and srcs by .o in order to form the list of object files. To create the object files, Makefile tells GCC to compile the C files. After the object files are available, Makefile uses GCC again. This time there is no minus C and an executable file is created. The name of the executable file is specified after minus O. Please notice that this is the lowercase O, not uppercase. The uppercase O means optimization for GCC and will not be used in this class. This finishes the entire process of building the executable file. Let's see how makefile can help us keep track of changes. If we type make again, bash says the executable file min is update today. This occurs because we have not changed any .c file. It is unnecessary to rebuild the executable file. Next, we use the echo command to append an empty line at the end of add.c and type make again. Make detects that add.c has been changed and compiles it again. Then, all the object files are put together to create the executable file. Please notice that only add.o is regenerated because only add.c has been changed. The next two echo commands append empty lines in mul.c and sub.c then, we type the make command. Since two .c files have been changed, their object files are regenerated. Finally, all object files are linked together to generate the executable file. Are you ready to see a more complex make file? Let's try. We add minus std equals c99 to use the c standard announced in 1999. We also add minus g in order to enable debugging. In bash, remove all object files. If we type make now, the changes are added for every gcc command. As you can see, 
The change in one place is used everywhere. You do not have to type the command by hand over and over again. Next, we add warnings into GCC by defining a symbol. The symbol is used by adding a dollar sign in front. When we type make, all GCC commands have the warning turned on. Again, we need to make only one change in the make file and this change is effective for every GCC command. Our next change defines the symbol for conditional compilation. In this case, we define a symbol called test main. The C program's main function is enclosed by IFDEF. And ENDIF. If we type make, the executable will be built. Let's remove the test flags, remove the object files, and type make. The executable cannot be built because the main function cannot be found. The main function is the starting point of every C program. If the symbol test main is not defined, the function enclosed by IFDEF and ENDIF is discarded and thus undefined. Without the main function, the executable file cannot be generated.